Welcome to Practice Diary and this week I am looking at 9-8 and this follows on almost exactly from what I was doing last week when I was looking at bass lines in 6-8 and uh, I talked last week about how 6-8 can be thought of like a straight 3-4, 1 and 2 and 3 and. Well 9-8 is like 3-4 played with a shuffle feel or a swing feel, it's like 1-2-3-2-2-3-3-2-3. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, like that. Uh, that's the obvious way to think about 9, 8, but what I've been trying to do is to come up with some bass lines that are kind of non-obvious. So they're using some of the other subdivisions that maybe take it somewhere different. Uh, so have a listen to some of the examples I've come up with. So in that two bar example, the first bar stayed within the obvious framework of 9, 8, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3. But then the second bar took it somewhere rhythmically different. So it was like 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Um, here's another example. I've been writing and recording these examples for a book that's hopefully going to be out later this year. And in this final example I'm going to show you, I've tried to move away from the framework of 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3. So in this example, I've tried to completely rearrange the way that I'm feeling the, the 9 eighth notes in each bar. See what you think. Nine eight is such a great time signature to play in, and it's much rarer than say six eight or twelve eight, which you hear much more often. But there's so many great rhythms you can come up with in nine eight. I wrote and recorded a piece in nine eight uh, last year, and here's a here's an excerpt from it. Thank you. 